but we could still pull some information off that. For example, what we're doing on this photograph is they notice this, there's this red spot. And they thought, okay, that's an anomaly because we got it several pictures and another picture we don't have it. So we're trying to see is this anything tangible. So when we pull up, the first thing we want to do is we'll pull up a thermal image and we'll notice, see, it's not really so much there. It's, it's not bright enough. So another thing that we can do is we can look at the spectrum. And the spectrum is just showing you what kind of light it is. You can see the light coming off that doesn't differ much from his outline. You can see how it's bringing certain things forward and certain things to the rear. You, know, you see how it took, this is his shadow, and it pushed it to the background. We've also isolated the background, so we've kind of really brought him out. We're still not seeing much of a difference there. Whatever this image is, this is actually on him. So I'm going to say, based on what I'm looking at, that's an IR light source that's shining on his shirt. More than likely a focusing device of some sort.